yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own sinker slides. Alright? Specifically for bank sinkers. Works with any uh, size sinker. So what all you do, I'm using this green line because it's pretty bright. Just cut off a piece of a piece of line here. I always like to make my leader lines a little lighter than what my main line is. Especially if you're fishing with treble hooks, that way you're not losing all your gear when you break off or if you break off. Alright, so you're just gonna double it over like so. And we're just gonna tie overhand knot. Like so, pull it, make sure it cinches down. You're gonna take your sinker, you're gonna feed this through the eye and around the weight. I like to pull those up top. Just pull it down. That's Super secure. Nothing's gonna happen. And then you just take this in and do the exact same thing around your fishing pole. You can go ahead and prep these and have them in your tackle box. You can make them longer or short as you want. They don't need to be long. Um, so again, piece of line, double it over, and tie it. The only thing is you want it long enough for the weight to slip through. That's about as long as you'll need it to be. Tie that off. Make sure it's all cinched down good. Cut your tag ends off. Again, there we go. We're just gonna go, this is a five ounce bank sinker. As long as this is big enough for your, your weight to fit through, you're in a good spot. It's as long as it needs to be. So we'll get through the eye around the body of your sinker. I like to pull those up, you don't have to. There you go. That is going nowhere. Double line strength. And these work really, 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 really good uh, as sinker sliders. I'm gonna go grab me a pole, show you what we got on the pole. So here's our pole. As you can see, I've got one of the same exact sinker slides on it. So what happens is, is it slides just like normal. Uh, when there's tension on the weight end, like when you cast it, it's gonna tighten up against here. This doesn't require the bead. So if you were to get caught in a pinch, you're out on the water, break, lose, uh, lose your gear, and you've gotta start over, you don't have any more sinker slides. You've got fishing line, obviously. Cut you some of it off, make you one of these, and cinch it on there. Let me show you how to attach it to your line. All right, get my tripod to work here. All right, so this is one of the ones we just made. And until they've they've set on there for a while, they're really not gonna snug down. As you can see, this is kinda long, but what you're gonna wanna do is all you wanna do is you go around the line You'll open this up and then you'll feed your sinker through there and then that will pull itself tight. Make sure it goes around your line and that'll pull itself snug just like so. And then to take it off if you need to change the size or whatever else. Just pull your, your, um, your side with your knot in it. You're going to go back through. There you go, you can get it off. So I'm not saying this way is a lot better than sinker slides. Uh, I just ordered me some more. This will just get you through if you don't have them or if you're missing some of the components to use them or to put one of the rigs together with this. So that's it, I'll get out here and give you a cast, show you how it works.
and short cast. There you go, fully intact, slides like it's supposed to. And you don't need the bead, you can't beat this. Check this out, save yourself some money. Um, no reason to buy um, sinker slides. Once again, there you go. Slides is really good. All right, well, there you go. DIY sinker slide. Works great. Um, save you some money, like I said. As far as the length, as long as, as far as the length, as long as your weight fits through your circle. That's really about all you need. You don't really need to go too crazy with it. And it works with, um, I suppose, any sinker. I use bank sinkers primarily because I make my own and they're a pretty universal weight uh, for where I fish.